today I am with uh, Carl Liu, uh, the co-founder of uh, Big Show Coffee Shops. So you have created a company a few years ago and you are managing coffee shops in Shanghai and other cities actually, you're going to talk about it to us. Um, and uh, I know you because you used to study at Carl uh, Center of Fashion and Design. Yes. And I was teaching uh, consumer journey, consumer preferences, and during or after your studies, you uh, started with your husband. So that's why I was saying co-founder. Maybe we are more of, of more of you. Um, um, coffee shop uh, yes. chain because you have more than one. And and yes. um, we already talked about your business one year ago on the blog. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It was very interesting. Um, actually, article where we went in depth in the numbers of of uh, managing your business of. Uh, of investments and very mm-hmm. detailed, very done to work. It was very useful actually for the audience and people liked, liked the exchange a lot. So mm-hmm. it's one year ago. Uh, okay. It's good to have some updates. And mm-hmm. uh, thank you, Carol, for being with us. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Carol. Uh, now I'm running the Big Sur coffee shop. Uh, now we have three shops in, in Shanghai. Uh, uh, two are in the downtown area. The other in the Pudong area. It's very close to the office building. Uh, now we are running uh, very stable, uh, but uh, the competition now <laughs> for the recent one year is very, very fierce. So we feel a lot of pressure in running up the big, uh, big circle coffee now, actually. You told me before that uh, one year ago that you had another coffee shop in another city. Was that correct? Yes, yeah, so we closed to the, the, the shop already. Okay, Wh- which city was it? It's in uh, Hefei, Anhui province. Hefei. Okay, J- just to, to, to talk about this experience of being in Hefei, did you close because the, the market was not mature enough? Because I guess the rent was cheaper, the salaries were cheaper. So is it a market reason why you closed it? Yes, it it's, to it's, I think uh, on one hand, it's the market reason. Uh, the, the market is not mature there. Uh, they, they they cannot you know appreciate uh, you know the good very good quality coffee. Uh, it it is meant the branding to affect their decision. Maybe uh, uh, Starbucks they will go to Starbucks to have a cup of coffee. But for the small you know uh, uh, in independent uh, this kind of small coffee you know they they will not try. I see. So I, I think, you know, the consumers, the market there is not mature. And uh, for the other reason, I think the location I choose there is not, is not mature as well. So okay. for both reasons, uh, it's, it is not successful of that shop. So we closed uh, maybe one, one year ago. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, how, how cheaper was it to manage it, by the way, in terms of rent, in terms of salaries? Is it much cheaper in Shanghai? Or basically it was similar or it was uh, it's, in cheaper. general definitely it is cheaper than in Shanghai uh, the rent is much cheaper and the salary there uh, is cheap as well so uh, uh, in general uh, I think it's 30 to 40 cheaper than in Shanghai okay and the prices uh, you were uh, charging the consumers were the same or it was also yeah, the same, cheaper the same price. okay Okay, so same prices, but lower cost, you could imagine to make more profit, but basically you cannot uh, make enough sales. So that was a yes, market, the sell, market yeah. issue. Yes, the sales cannot reach the point to balance, you know. I see. Yeah. I see. Talking about the businesses in, in Shanghai, so you have three, um, three locations. I know one is in Mangzulu, one is close mm-hmm. to People's Square, and the other one in Pudong. So all of them are close to uh, offices. Sorry, the other, uh, the other is in uh, Jiangshan Road. Jiangshan Road, French okay. Concession, you, the French concession. You said uh, yes, Pudong. Yes, uh, Pudong. Uh, one is Pudong, one is in the Jiangshan Road, and okay. one is on the Mengzi Road. Oh, uh, yes, we had one in uh, People's Square, but we closed I as see. well. <laughs> I see. How long, how long did you open the one in People's Square? Uh, maybe uh, also around one year ago. One year, uh, we, okay. We closed, we closed it. Uh, last October, last October. I see. So you, you basically, you get a commitment for one year and then you see if it goes well or not and then you decide to continue or not continue. Yes, yes. One year is typical to see if it goes well or um, not the uh, entire season. Yes, yes. We, we try to, you know, to sustain one year. 
uh, but if it, but it 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 depends on the rent. If the rent is very low, we can maybe we can can do more more time to you know wait and see. But if the rent is too high, we can we cannot afford. Then the the time will be shorter. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, in terms of um uh in terms of size now, how many customers do you serve? Uh, uh, let's say one shop uh, on 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 a month for one day or one year. Do you have some metrics in it? How many cup of coffee basically are you are you delivering? Uh, for Monzi Road, uh, every day we deliver about uh, two fifty on weekday. Two hundred fifty. Wow. Two fifty on weekday. Okay. As on a weekends, uh, it's about one fifty to two hundred. I see. So not not that much of a cycle. It's still in the same range. And on Mangzhou, you are very close to offices like Under Armour and mm -hmm. uh, some some other offices. Is mm -hmm. it the main clientele? Is business people who go for for go after lunch or during a break, uh, taking a coffee? Uh, peak time is in uh, actually is in the morning. It's around in the morning. Eight, okay. eight, eight thirty to ten thirty. And uh, that that is the the peak time. Uh, in the lunch, it's it's okay. In the uh, eleven, uh, in the one one p.m. to two thirty, uh, there's also a lot of con con consumers coming, but not as much as in the morning. Okay. How do you yes. manage this uh, peak peak hours? Uh, because I feel that's the most difficult aspect of managing a restaurant or a coffee shop is to manage peak hours, uh, morning. Uh, after lunch, do you have people coming for part time? Is it easy to get people coming, coming work for part time for two hours during peak hours? How do you work with these peak hours? Firstly, with management of people, and mm -hmm. secondly, in terms of machine, you have mm -hmm. one, two machines, but when so mm -hmm. many people come, they have mm -hmm. to wait, and people don't mm -hmm. like to wait. Do mm -hmm. you pre order? Do you, how, how, what's, your, what's your way of working with uh, peak hours? Oh, we don't have part time job. Uh, we only have okay. full time because part time job, uh, the workers they 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 don't you know uh, recognize your brand. They don't recognize your your service standard. And uh, for teamwork, they might be not you know very efficient to be a team member. So we only have full time job, a full time worker. Uh, for full time worker, we. Uh, you know, we, uh, how to say, we arrange the working, you know, working schedule for different people. For, mm -hmm. uh, because the peak time is starting around eight, eight o'clock. So uh, the, for maybe the first, the first, the first the first uh, people come at 7.30 and the two and the third people come at uh, eight, eight o'clock to serve for the, for our consumers, yes. And they work until to the uh, 2.30, and then they go off. Okay. Only one people left in the, in the, in the, sh in the shop for the- After 2.30. Yes, yes. So we, okay. we, we use this, this kind of way to, to manage it. And Three the people other, then? Uh, now in the peak time, we have four actually. Okay. Because now we have power over coffee. It's kind of, you know, hand, hand drip. It's not a, a machine based coffee. So we have to arrange another people to, to you know, to, respond, to be responsible for this power over coffee. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. In yeah, terms uh, of, um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, on the other hand, we uh, continually to strengthen the, the working efficiency uh, on, on making coffee. And especially when the three or four people work together, how, which one to do what, to be, you know, to be a, a, a very a, a high efficient on a, on a whole team. So this area will continue to strengthen on this. I see. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about a way to pre-order for clients, for instance, they are in their office and they can pre-order and then go come and pick the coffee. Have you thought about uh, also uh, delivery at offices? Do you offer those, those services to deliver? Uh, yes, we have. Uh, yeah, actually, now you can, you can uh, use our WeChat, Big Sur WeChat. 
account to get delivered. To, to get delivered. You can pre-order and, and pre-order pre okay. and then pre-order on the WeChat and then you can go to our store to pick up at the certain time. But uh, uh, this technology we, we are now using is not very mature now. So, okay. uh, but already some consumers are using this. Yes. Okay. I will go back on, on technology later on. Mm -hmm. uh, to talk about uh, the size of business, I guess we have a, um, a good idea of, 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 of the, 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 the business you're managing and to try as well new locations uh, on, uh, on, as we said, Bureau Square and, and Refay. Um, I, I, I went several times to your coffee shop, actually, in Manzalou, and mm -hmm. I found out, that I think, uh, early this year, it was closed for like two or three months. Yes. Could you tell us more about what happened? And I, you told me that it was a business license renewal. And to, could you tell us what was the reason of, that it takes so long, first? And secondly, how do you manage it? Do you still need to pay the rent? Do you still need to pay people? Do you still need to do all this? And you had to take off your logo. You had to take off so many things and re-put on it. Could you explain the context and how you manage it? Oh, it's, you know, it's very, it's a very difficult time for us. Uh, uh, yes, because uh, for a Mengzi road, uh, actually we don't have the, you know, drink, uh, the, the business license of, of drink. Uh, of this shop. So when the uh, government is, you know, uh, scrutinizing on this, they, 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 they will ask us to close the door because we have no proper business license. In this case, you know, when you have to face the government, you have no, you know, you have to, to do whatever they, they ask you to do. So we have to close uh, two to three months. In the mean, in in this, in the in the meantime, uh, we you know we we inv we ask the, our um, the 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 the, how, the the owner the how the shop owner to help us to you know to ne in, in, to negotiate you know to negotiate to get the business lines. Uh, I think fortunately, because the owner have some relationships in the government, so uh, even though very difficult, but uh, in the end, he helped us to get the business license. Okay, is it hard shops. to get it? Is it hard yes. to get it? Oh. Yes, it is very hard. If uh, there's no relationships with the government, it is maybe, I think it will take much, much longer time to get the license. Or okay. you, you may not get the license. Okay. So, okay. yes, it's very, <laughs> it's very sensitive, you know, okay. about but the how did you, license. So you operated before with, the, with not the right license. You had the license of a shop selling products, but not shop selling drinks. Yes. Yes, okay. it have to be the license to sell drinks if right. you actually sell drinks. Okay, and what did you yeah. need to offer to them to, to, in terms of uh, proof that you can run it? What do you need to do for them to trust you that you can run uh, uh, such a business and get a license? What do you need to prove? Uh, you mean proof to... Do, do you need to invest a certain amount of money to get the license? Do you need to show that you have other certifications? Do you need to pass some exams to get the license? Or are you just uh, processing actually, time and so on? It's actually, it's, uh, uh, it's a very complicated process. Uh, because they, the, the process is mainly, mainly handled by the, the shop owners. I'm not very involved in this. Okay. But uh, it's kind of like you have to, um, um, how to say, uh, uh, I, I don't know the details <laughs> of the process, but I can, I, can, I can see that it's very complicated and it's, it's, it's okay. very difficult. Okay. Yes. What is it about security as to... well? What? what is it about security, safety, uh, clean la clean, yes, clean yes, the place Yes, yes, yeah. For that okay. area, you have to prove you have uh, okay. your yes. You have to prove your your drinks and your 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 process process to make drinks are very clean. Are very you know, uh, are very 
you know, uh, you have to prove to them. Okay. Yes, okay. for this okay. area. Okay. Yes. Got it. Got it. So, did you have to still pay the people you employed? Do you still have yes, to pay sure, the rent? Yes. Sure. 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 Okay, well, uh, two, three months. During that during that period, we we have to manage uh, arrange our people to our other shops, even though our, our other shops don't need this manpower. But we still have to, you know, to 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 arrange Optimize. them to work yeah. and pay salary to them. We okay. cannot just fire them because it's it's not fair to them. And also, uh, when we're back to our business, we still need them to, you know, to serve for our customers. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, about the, the quality control, you talked about business license. We see in, in, all, in all those shops, a restaurant, coffee shop, the smiling face, the face which is not smiling about the, 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 how clean the, 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 the place is, how, how good the product is. Do, do you see those, those uh, uh, those uh, criteria in restaurants mm -hmm. with the, the faces, ah, the yeah, small yeah, faces, yeah, three yeah, faces. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do, do you have to go through this kind of regulation and tests? Uh, yes, act yes, we have to. How does it work? I, I never understood how, how the control is working. Uh, how do you move from one, one standard to another one? What are the criteria? Uh, actually, uh, the government people will come to your shop and uh, they will check out uh, the whole shop, uh, the backside and also the kitchen area. And uh, they, then they will decide uh, which face they will give you. But I don't know the actual standard, but it the depends criteria. on... Yes. Okay. <laughs> Our shop get a small face. Okay. It's not key <laughs> for you. It doesn't seem to be key for you. Yes, it sure. It's not key. Uh, it's not key, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even uh, it's not very key, but to get a small face is uh, is, is very good for us. Um, but I don't think the consumers very very, you know, uh, perceive this very carefully. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in terms of uh, you talked about uh, a bit about third parties like. Um, uh, some tech, uh, tech, um, tech support you got. Could you tell us more so in, in terms of uh, how much you use tech into your shop? I, uh, I went several times to your shop and um, in the past you were using a personal account to invoice in WeChat. And now it seems that you have a device to scan the QR code on WeChat. Uh, it seems like you go through the uh, um, a more uh, common way of uh, uh, invoicing people than the person I counted in the past. Could you explain us why it took so much uh, time for you to, to move from on WeChat? Because on Alipay, you were already ready for a long time, I, I feel. But from WeChat, why did you hesitate so long to move from a uh, personal account to actually the company account and invoice with the, the device to scan the QR code? Was it a problem of fees? Was it a problem of regulations? Uh, actually, there are a lot of reasons. One reason is that uh, at first we use our uh, Kasher soft uh, uh, company. It's a okay. provider of the of the Kasher system. Uh, that company did not uh, support WeChat. So in, for that reason, we continue to use Alipay. But we find that more and more of our consumers are asking to use WeChat account. So we, uh, we, we uh, changed the cashier provider to another, another provider. That provider supports both Alipay and WeChat account. Uh, the other reason is that uh, uh, um, actually, this is the main reason <laughs> for okay. for the the WeChat. The other reason uh, now, actually, um, uh, WeChat you have you you have to use the company account and uh, Alipay. Actually, you can use the personal account and uh, uh, or you can use the company account. For us, um, uh, because our goal is to run in this 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 brand to be a very professional to be 
grew bigger and bigger. We want to run our company and our brand to be a very professional company. So, so we, we decided to, you know, to transfer to company account, not a personal account. Okay. okay. Yes. But you uh, know, the, the tax, the tax, the fate uh, is quite different. We have to, uh, to pay the, 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 the tax for the, for the government. What is the VAT tax? Is 17%? Uh, no, it's uh, six six percent. Six, oh, because the, you're in the service thing. business. Yeah, yes. You're in the service business. I see. Yes. I see. Okay. I actually I, I I didn't talk about the we didn't talk about the other location, Nangzulu. So it's the biggest. is the most successful one, and then you have mm -hmm. another one uh, in the ex French concession, and yes. then Pudong. But totally speaking, every day you are selling like uh, five hundred cups every day, or totally like two hundred, two hundred fifty uh, on Nangzulu and. Yes, around the 500. About, uh, every, about 500. Every okay. day, yes. Okay, okay. Um, so how do you integrate uh, technology uh, in, into your business? Uh, so people can pay with WeChat, can pay with Alipay, mm -hmm. so Weixin Pay and Jofu, Jofu Ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you go further with, uh, in technology? You have implemented pre-order, you have implemented delivery uh, to people, how do you implement those technology into your shop? Because I guess you don't have your own people to deliver. You work with third parties. Mm -hmm. So how, how do you implement those different services? And how do you work with those third parties which deliver your coffee shop? How much margin do they take you? Uh, um, um, what's the cost of working with them? Do they pay uh, quickly? How do they pay you like 30 days after? Could you tell us a bit of uh, some, some ideas about how to work with them. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, for the third part, third parties, we uh, cooperate with uh, Elema and mm -hmm. Meituan, and and also we running our own uh, WeChat accounts to delivery. Uh, for Elema and Meituan, actually they charge a lot. They charge around the fifteen to fifteen to uh, eighteen percent of the okay. of the charge. That is that is pretty very high. So we prefer our consumers to use our own uh, platform to deliver the uh, to order their products. Uh, in that way, uh, 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 to in order to you know to encourage them to uh, order through our own platform uh, they can when, uh, every time they consume they can they can have points and uh, the points can you know can be used as some cash i see okay i yes. understand but how do you deliver them you have you have someone from your from your coffee shop to deliver them no, so you can... we, we we worked with the third party called dada and the business model is different than you pay them how much? It's, it's cheaper than Mate One, for instance. Uh, Dada, it's not, it, it is not, uh, it is different from Mate One, Elema. It's, it's only a delivery company, not a platform. Mate One, Elema is a platform and you, you, uh, they can also uh, help you to delivery. But Dada is only uh, a company provide delivery service. Okay, so what so, you mean, one is finding clients for you. Data is not finding clients for you. Data is only providing the service of delivery. Yes. And you pay them per order. You don't pay them as a commission, right? Yes. You pay them yes. per order. Okay. Yeah, yeah, How much yeah, is it yeah. per order? I, actually, uh, it's uh, very a lot. If it is raining, uh, okay. <laughs> yes, it is raining, it's high. Maybe uh, for poor order, they charge uh, 6 yuan, 7 yuan, 8 yuan, 9 yuan. That is wow. very possible. But in the, you know, in the normal, in the normal days, normal conditions, it's around 4, 4 yuan to 5 yuan per order. Okay, so 4 yuan is like uh, 0 0.5 euros uh, for the order to deliver anywhere, anywhere in, Ch anywhere in Shanghai? Uh, no, 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 it's actually around uh, within two kilometers. Okay, understood. But if, understood. if beyond the two kilometers, actually we don't uh, suggest to uh, consumers to order because the coffee test is not good. Okay, okay. Yes. So you say like four GMB and uh, your average price should be about 20, 25 mm -hmm. GMB? 
20, yes. 20 GMB? 20, 20. The average? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, so it's taking like, it's taking more than Mate 1, isn't it? Four? Four GMB is taking uh, actually, like twenty percent. Uh, when when consumers uh, play, uh, order the drinks, normally they will order uh, more than one cup. I see. okay, I understand. Yeah. So then, if you have more than two, it's beginning it's beginning to be cheaper. I mean, more than one is mm -hmm. becoming cheaper than made one. But yes. if you have uh, less than one, that is going to be more expensive. Mm, yes. So yes. If you have less you than one, say that. you can say that. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you change then? Do you change to go to Mate One when when actually it's only one, and to go to with Dada when it's more than one? No, no. Actually, it is consumers who decide uh, uh, Mate One okay. or Elma or our own platform. Yes. You can use Mate. You cannot use Mate One and say, "Hey, we send to your client." You cannot do that. No, no, they no, bring no, you no, no, okay. no. Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you? So you have working with Elma. You're working with Mate One. You are working with Dada. Any other parties you third parties you work with? Uh, we used to work with Baidu, Baidu mm. delivery, but mm. uh, Baidu now uh, uh, less, less and less consumers use the Baidu, so now we don't work with them anymore, only Meituan, Elema and our own platform. Okay, talking mm. about Baidu, do you use other services of Baidu like Baidu map? Is it something you, you try to no, work no, on? No, to, we, you don't use we, Baidu map to, to drive clients to your shop? We look for a coffee, no, right? No, it's not something because, you work on. <laughs> because actually, Baidu is a company I don't like uh, uh, a lot. So, uh, for this kind of company, we 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 don't want to cooperate with them. Because, Interesting. I I, I yes, get that because a lot. it's a kind of responsible uh, social responsibility. I think. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. very strange. Baidu has as a very different image than Google uh, has. Yeah, in the West. People yeah. trust a lot Google, but in China, people are very, very um, reluctant to trust Baidu results. Yes, yes, because we, it's, it is not available. Uh, Google is not available. We have to use Baidu, but actually uh, most of my friends, most of my people around me, they, 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 they think Baidu is not a very good company. So... You said that the competition was more and more fierce. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, of course, we are talking about, look, we are thinking about Luckin, we are thinking about Sicha, of course, we can think about Starbucks. What, what were you talking about saying that the competition was fiercer and fiercer? Um. Yes, maybe two years ago or one years, uh, or maybe two years ago, uh, I think there, there are not as much more player as now because especially recent year i, I think you you have uh, heard about the lacking lacking coffee I, sure. I don't know if you have ordered of course, of course. <laughs> yes lacking coffee coffee box these are very uh, important players on the delivery coffee area and uh, there are some other very big uh, big uh, big chain store like of course, Starbucks, but there are other local players like Seesaw Cafe, like Grill Box. Uh, they, they are very big chains they, and they have the uh, investment to back up them. And uh, they have very good resources to, to have the good locations to get into the, the good shopping malls. And uh, uh, in addition to that, they are very small players like us like the independent uh, small coffee shops. And uh, recently we find more and more small coffee shops like us are coming in the, into the market. Uh, if you, you go to the French concession, uh, maybe, maybe every five meters, 500 meters, you can find the very small coffee shops. So the competition now is very, it's very fierce. Different types, different uh, different models. They are they are competing, uh, you know, competing to to win the consumers. I feel that your your idea was to have very small coffee shops, so people mm -hmm. take away. Like mm -hmm. the one on Mount Zulu is really take away. It's like mm -hmm. twenty square meters, fifteen square 20, meters, twenty twenty five. 
25 square meters. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty small. The, I think the, the, the kitchen, the storage is doing half of it. And then you have half of it, which is with uh, like five or five or six seats. And uh, in, with this model, that's I think the best to optimize the cash flow and the sale because people take away and don't stay. Um, I, I feel that's part of your strategy. I, am I correct? But, uh, yes, but this kind of strategy is going very popular now. It's like uh, Manor Coffee. I don't know if you heard about this brand. Uh, Manor Coffee? Ma Manor, M-A-N-N-E-R, Manor. Manor Coffee. They, they, their uh, space is even smaller than us. Uh, and uh, their price are also lower than us, and their coffee go coffee quality is go is good, not bad. So this kind of strategy, this kind of model in Shanghai now is very popular, and a lot of players come into this area. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's one thing I wanted to to talk about is how you differentiate it from the competition. I felt the first time I went to your coffee shop is that mm -hmm. the you have you 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 take care a lot about the, the product itself it's for the first time for me it was not too hot and not uh too 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 cold neither it was very very right temperature for me mm -hmm. the coffee and also the taste was very very special it was good mm -hmm. it was different from starbucks mm -hmm. and the other 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 players a mm -hmm. few questions on this have, how have you worked on it on the, the to differentiate on the product itself from a small company because you're mm -hmm. still a small company. Mm -hmm. And secondly, um, um, what what are the feedbacks of the clients? Do you get some feedbacks about the product in itself? Mm -hmm. um, yes, uh, in in, in um, referring to how to you know uh, differentiate of bigger serve from other small players. Uh, we, we focus on very, focus on the details like the temp, like you mentioned the temperature and uh, we focus on the service. We focus on the, 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 the high, high quality of the, the coffee. So on the three, on these three dimensions, good quality coffee details and the service, we hope we can outstand uh, you know, within the, 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 the our competitors. And uh, your, ad, your, your next question is, is what, I'm the sorry? Feedback. So it's the feedback, feedback of the client. Yeah, yeah, Do yeah. you feel that clients come back to you because of the quality of the product or because more of the location? Uh, I think both. Uh, yes, because on Ma let's take again Mangzulu and let's say anywhere basically in the French Constellation, you have okay. so many coffee shops. So if mm -hmm. people come back to you, it's not mm -hmm. because of location, because they just need to, to do like 20 meters more, 30 meters more, and they mm -hmm. find another coffee shops. So mm -hmm. it's certainly something with the service and the product, but what do they value, do you think? I think location is first. And okay. then, and then, and then the good quality, because for the, for the, uh, for the white colors, uh, they, they can't go a long way to get a cup of coffee. I think convenience is very, is very important for, for them so that that's why the location is, is 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 a key factor to us and then it's the good quality if the, the quality is not good even you are very convenient they will not come as as well so i think location is the first and then good quality so because we're still talking about the, the competition um could you tell us a bit more about uh, how you analyze the success of other competitors besides besides an investment? How do you analyze uh, the success of Luckin Coffee? How do you analyze the, the, the success of CISO or Greybox? Uh, and I guess there are different reasons for each of them. What's your point of view on the success of those players? Uh, I think for, uh, for Luckin Coffee, uh, uh, I, I think the key, the key factor of their success is their marketing, you know, it's, it's their advertisement and the marketing and, uh, and their promotion. Promotion, you mean discount? You mean uh, yes, yes. delivery? Yes, okay. the, the, the promotion and the, the marketing, they combine very well because, you know, uh, they, uh, they, they they use the marketing marketing tool to 
to give discount to their consu consumers. Could you give some examples? You know, uh, they have their uh, APP, uh, locking APP, and they have their uh, WeChat account. And, application, and their, so yeah, they have yes. their own application, application and, they have the and they mini WeChat. program on WeChat. Yes, they have their, uh, I mean, the WeChat, the WeChat account, you know, they can, okay. they sure. can publish the uh, articles every week. So uh, through, through these tools, they, they continue to give their, the discounts through these tools to accumulate their, their, member, their, their memberships and uh, to, you know, to uh, ask their consumers to invite their friends and continue to invite another friend, you know, it's like a kind of, you know, how to say? Yeah, it'll be like pin to a draw. Yes, it's, it's a kind like, of... It's like a network effect. Yeah, networking uh, marketing tools. So I think this is, uh, this is the, the, the key factor is how they are successful now, how so many uh, uh, members now they, they have. What about the other ones, Greybox and CISO? For CISO and uh, Greybox, and I think for one, uh, their their key uh, their key uh, fact their key how to say, uh, is I think it's their space. Yeah. It's the space and the location. You mean the environment? It's the first how, how, the first strength. Okay, the environment, how they design the environment. Yeah, that how they design the environment and the location. Because the location is, if you, you see the grill box and the seesaw, the location is the very good location on the very uh, hot shopping mall. And the designs, the space is very modern. It's very comfortable. It's, it's, uh, it's very like to, you know, to, to, to sit there, to have a talk, to work uh, uh, there. I think but that... Yeah, but that's the thing, it, because people stay in the sh in the coffee shop. So, do do you do you have you have you ever tried to know how many cups of coffee they sell in a day? Because it may not be actually that different sometimes from your results, mm -hmm. uh, because you have a lot of takeaways, mm -hmm. and they don't have people stay. And when people mm -hmm. stay, they may not consume like five coffee; they consume one, but they stay mm -hmm. for two hours. So uh, do, 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 have you tried to compare a little bit with uh, the, the, the coffee shop, which is close to you, Starbucks coffee shops or other coffee shops, how many cups of coffee they, they may sell? And if it's actually much higher than you, or actually similar uh, with actually a bigger space. Do, did you have this, this, this uh, uh, thinking before? Yes, I have this kind of thinking, but I actually don't know the exact figure. Uh, you know, how many more coffees uh, do they sell because of the space? Uh, I think uh, uh, the, there's a Starbucks near the Mengzi Road. Mm. Uh, actually, I don't know the, the exact figure, how many cups they sell every day. Uh, but I think uh, for uh, at, at least one third, it's my, my thinking, at least one third is because of their space. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, talking about um, um, how to scale, because you said like Luckin, um, uh, Starbucks, of course, but Luckin, CISO, Greybox had a lot of money. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in terms of opening a coffee shop, what amount of money do, you, do we talk about in terms of initial investment before operating? Could you share a little bit of ranges of the, of money you need to you, mean, you need to expect? Uh, you mean to like a, like our 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 uh, our coffee shop? This kind yes. of small coffee shop? Yes, roughly. At, roughly. at least uh, uh, at least uh, um, five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. So, uh, who 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 which is about, uh, uh, okay, which is about uh, nearly 60,000 euros, 70,000 euros. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. uh, how much, um, uh, where does it go, this money? It goes in, so do you have to pay upfront like three months of ray, ra rent plus deposit? How, how, where does the money go? Uh... One one big part is the is the coffee machine. 
Oh yeah, how much the is that? Coffee machine. Yes, uh, co it's oh, uh, our coffee machine is Lamazaco. Uh, Lamazaco is from uh, Italy. It's very expensive, but it's very it's a kind of high end uh, machine brand in the uh, industry. It's it costs around uh, um, seven seventy five thousand RMB. Seventy five thousand RMB per uh, one coffee machine. Okay, so about 10,000 euros nearly, okay. Yes, and uh, uh, that's not only in the coffee machine, there's some uh, it's a grinder, grinder, you know, to, to have the coffee powder, the coffee yeah. beans to the coffee powder. This grinder uh, will also cost around uh, 20,000 20, RMB. I see. And normally we have two kinds of grinders, or uh, because one is for the uh, espresso coffee, the other is for the pour over uh, coffee. Okay. So you have at least two grinders. Okay. Then the yeah. other part, because this is representing about part, one hundred thousand. Uh, the other part is the you know, uh, uh, the, normally we 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 pay rent. We have to have three months deposit. Uh, three months deposit, and do you need to pay three months in advance as well? So six months total when you begin. Yeah, yes, sure. Six months total when you begin, right? Yeah, uh, sometimes. So that's okay. That's the biggest amount. Uh, yes, but some, but in some occasion it's two and two. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Talking about the future, how 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 do you think you can scale? How do you think you can move from three coffee shops to twenty? to 10, let's say, 10, even 10. What, what do you think could be the drivers for you to, to scale? What's your analysis on that? Actually, uh, now our strategy is quite different from the, the strategy of last, last year. Last year, we want to, you know, to expand very, very fast, but we, we experienced just two failures, you know, the Hefei shops and the, the shop in the People's Square. So now we uh, review uh, the, the, our inside management, our uh, qualities, our service, our details. So because I, I think we have to, you know, the, 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 we have to do some, you know, the basic things, you know, the ground. We, we want to hunt the, the ground very solid. And then we, we, then we, we, we expand. If we, you know, the, 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 the roots, the ground, we are not built it very well. Uh, if we, you know, blind to expand, it will be failure for us. So now we, uh, on one hand, we uh, strengthen our professionalism of our, you know, our baristas. And okay. uh, we, we, we uh, launched our secret guest project to strengthen our service, our consumer Mystery shopping, experience. you mean? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, to, to strengthen our customer service and the consumer's experience in our shops. And uh, uh, then we, uh, we focus a lot on the qualities of our coffee, of our coffee beans. Uh, as, as, as I mentioned in the last article, uh, first, uh, the first, first of all, our strategy is both coffee and tea. But uh, now we think this strategy is not very good because even our coffee is good, but the consumers will perceive, perceive, perceive our coffee is not professional because we have tea. So now we focus more and more on the coffee uh, and uh, you know the reduce the tea products a lot. And and uh, uh, also we 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 focus on the coffee beans. You know uh, we 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 want to work with the you know. The, 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 the orange of the coffee beans, like the uh, South Africa, like the African, uh, African countries who, you know, who farm and uh, uh, harvest the, 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 the cherry, the coffee beans, because we think only we uh, have very good 
coffee beans, then we can have very good quality coffee. Understand. So now we focus our more times on the on these areas: the good quality coffee bean, the experience, the customer service, the the the, the details, and the professionalism of our baristas. And when we do very perfect outstanding of all these areas, uh, then we then uh, we expand to our uh, to to be bigger. Understand. So this thank you very much. Now. Thank, thank you very much for your time, Hello. Carol. Um, thank so you. So you are managing the coffee shop Big Share B I G mm -hmm. uh, space as you uh, are. As you are. Yeah. And you are yes. on in three locations in Pudong, Mandalu, and in the Extreme Translation on on which street? Mm -hmm. Uh, Jiashan Road. Jiashan, Jiashan Road. Road, yes. So anyone listening to us, uh, try uh, Big Show Coffee Shops on those three in these three locations. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you, Matthew. Bye.